Oh, this is Mr. Hornsby 83 with uh, another Mr. Hornsby 83 top 10. Pretty much anime must have been top 10 months so far, so. <laughs> this time I'm doing top 10 best anime shows. Um, I'm going to start it at number 10. Best of the North Star. Show was amazing. Kenshiro or Kenshiro or however you say his name. Well, an awesome character. The storyline to the show was awesome. Uh, I believe he was, if I can remember correctly, he was hunting for the person who kidnapped his wife. He found him. But when he took that guy down, his wife got killed or girlfriend. I don't know. So at number 10, Fist of the North Star. Really good anime. I remember when, uh, I think it was Action Showtime. No, not Action Show. Action Cinemax showed all kinds of anime. That's how I seen, uh, that's how, that's how I was able to watch, you know, Ninja Scroll. Because I had never really seen it before. I seen it on Action Cinemax. So, yeah. Number 10, Fist of the North Star. Uh, number 9, this one was on Star 64, Ronin Warriors. Um, it's about, I believe, 5 or 6, maybe even 7. Samurai Ronins who would take on the forces of evil. Uh, I did not realize when I first watched the show, I thought it was just another, you know, American cartoon, but come to find out it was actually just an anime. So, you know, when I first watched this, I didn't know that. Tell him to quit freaking yelling in my video. Anyway, um, yeah. Ronin Warriors at number nine. Really liked the show. I remember the episode, and they kept playing it over and over. It was the one where they, like one of the Ronins were about to get struck down by one of the villains, and like the tiger came in to save them. But you know, next up at number eight, Inuyasha. I mean, I followed this show from beginning to end, and you know, it was quite a long run from beginning to end. It's a story about Inuyasha who gets framed by Naraku. By his girlfriend Kikyo, but then Kikyo reincarnated with Kagome, and you know, they go on this big adventure to stop Naraku. They finally do stop him. Um, just an amazing show. Next up, Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, I really liked this anime when they showed it on Toonami years ago. Uh, it was kind of reminiscent of Dragon Ball, but really wasn't, you know up there with Dragon Ball and all that, you know, they just, you know, it was similar but different, and it was also, you know, dubbed by uh, Funimation as well, I believe they also dubbed Lupin the Third, yeah, Lupin the Third was not a bad anime either, I wasn't a big fan of it, but, you know, it wasn't bad, so at number six, we got Cowboy Bebop spiking the gang on a wild adventure. And the way the show ended, I believe pretty much every character died. I know Spike died. His partner died. Uh, I think the only one that lived was, like, the main girl. I can't remember her freaking name, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, well, they still show on Toonami as well. Um... Cowboy Bebop. A lot of people said, oh, I thought it was an artistic way, the way they died. Yeah, I guess. But, you know. Not used to a show ending with the main characters dying. And, but then, that happened with Gundam Iron Blooded Orphan with uh, Mikazui dying. So. Next up is Attack on Titans. At number five, I love Attack on Titans. I love the storyline to it. I love the freaking grittiness of the show. The action, the freaking, it's just amazing. The characters, all of it, just, just an amazing show. Especially Aaron, you know, being part Titan and part human, that, that help gives them a help. But there's also a couple others that are, you know, part Titan and part human. But they're kind of indecisive on whether they're going to be a villain or a hero. Um, yeah. Next up, Soul Leaders. Soul Eaters, I love that show. I love that show so much, I even had a Soul Eaters shirt. It did get ripped, but, you know, I had a shirt. That's how much I love Soul Eaters. Next up, Street Fighter V, the anime. Um, I'm not talking about the anime series that came on USA. This was, like, a totally different show. 
I believe when Sci-Fi was doing their Anna Monday, they showed the whole entire series. In its entirety, follows Ken and Ryu, Chung Lee, um, I believe Guile was in it too. Um, you know, they, they were different looking from the anime movie, which I'll probably be talking about tomorrow on my best anime movies video. But, um... Pretty much, it was pretty much the same premise as the anime movie. It came out years after the anime movie, but, um, yeah. Next up, I believe I caught this one on, I think it was Netflix, when Netflix had a bunch of good anime on. Uh, Elfin Lied. Uh, it's about a super-powered, I guess, human, who, like, went on a killing spree at the beginning of the show, and then, you know, she met this boy... And another girl, and she befriended him, and then, you know, she was trying to go good, but the government was still hunting her from what she did at the beginning of the show, killing everybody, and, um, to save her friends, the boy, well, she was in love with the boy as well, but to save her friends, the boy, and the other girl, she had to sacrifice herself at the end of the show, or, yeah, show. Um... Yeah, really good show. I really liked Elfin Lies. I mean, I was like, man, I'm going to check this out. Because it seemed, when I read the, you know, the info about the story and all that, I'm like, man, this sounds like some, this sounds like anime stuff I would like. So, <laughs> I checked it out. Really good. I mean, if you haven't seen Elfin Lies, you should check it out. Very good show. Um, Alright, so before I get... Do number one, which, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody who knows me knows what it is, but let's get out a couple of honorable mentions. First off, honorable mention to JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Really love that show. Very hilarious, very action packed. You know, just amazing. I love JoJo, JoJo and his granddad and all the characters. I loved. Joseph Joestar, I like, you know, Jonathan Joestar, they were all good characters. And Dio is a very good villain. Um, next up, the entire Gundam series, of course. Um, I'm not a big fan of all the Gundam shows, but I do know a lot of people love Gundam. They are very good shows. I did like Iron-Blooded Orphans. There was another one I liked in O2. I just can't remember the freaking name of it. <laughs> Uh, if y'all know, let me know in the comments. Um, what else is there to give an honorable mention to? Let's see. I had one more. I just can't remember. Mm. Yeah, screw it. Alright, so number one, of course, despite what people thought of GT, despite what people think of Super, the Dragon Ball franchise. From the original Dragon Ball show to Dragon Ball Z to Kai to GT to Super to whatever show they have next after that. Just amazing. I've always loved Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball was what was really the thing that turned me truly into an anime fan. I mean, yeah, I've seen other anime before like Vampire Hunter D, the Street Fighter anime movie, uh... What else? Uh, Ronin Warriors, as I just mentioned on this list. Fist of the North Star. But Dragon Ball is what turned me completely to be an anime fan. And that's why it's at number one. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for this list. Uh, let me know what some of the best anime shows you think are out there. Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Um, that'll do it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.